Hi everybody and welcome back to Selvage Knits. We are here in the dog days of summer. It's the last week of summer and we're a little bit sad about it. A lot but, bit sad about it. Yeah. I know that people who don't work for the school system are always like, shut up, you had off the whole summer. But um, it's a sad week for those of us that work for the school system and we're trying to squeeze in those last bits of fun. Wait, do you see those memes where it's uh, like teachers tag you're it? You know, mm -hmm. parents, for, for me, it's like I get to go from one kind of work to another kind of work. <laughs> yeah. I'm parenting all summer full time and then I'm working all summer full. No, no, backwards. All year. No, yeah. So just, I just hop back and forth between different yeah. kinds of work. It's more just a transition. There's period. just a lot of caring for children in mm -hmm. our lives. Just different ages, sizes, and groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. you're right. That's right. That was right. So we have been, you know, Very summering. Good. Yeah. There's been a lot of summer here. You're going on vacation. I'm going on vacation. I got a puppy in the yeah. absolute wrong order. I moved. Should not have done it that way. You moved. I moved. We've had a busy summer. It's been and very busy. I, I know a lot of times we kind of start out by like apologizing for how long it's taken, but we're not going to do that anymore because you know what? Hashtag sorry, not sorry. No, I'm no. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag live your best life. Yeah. Don't stress. No. Maybe that. Yeah. That no. was a little long and not as poetic as <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. And, but also um, kinder and more the sentiment then. We're going Maybe. for, um, but yeah, no, you were right. Cause I was like, well, we're not going to apologize about that. And you were like, no, what? No, we're the self care thing is a real thing. We need to be more gentle on ourselves. And, and you know what? All of us can take a, 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 you know, time out from YouTube, time out from our phones and spend time in the real world. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll be here when we're here. And right now we're here for some really, really cool things to share with yes. you. Yes. It may still be summer, but you know what's right around the corner. Rhinebeck. It's Rhinebeck time. And Let's get Rhinebeck ready. Just like last year, we are hosting the Rhinebeck sweater knit along for Andrea Mowry with her brand new stone crop. She's got the pullover and the cardi this year, so you have options. I love that. When I found out about that, I was so excited because I am going to knit them. Not before Rhinebeck, probably. Yeah, but I'm going to. No. Do that is a lot to try to promote. Realistic expectations, Samantha. I'm going to do the pullover first and then hopefully get to the cardi eventually. So details. You need to know what's going on. Yes. Um, for those of you who joined us last year, it's yeah. very similar to what we yes. did last year. Um, it is an amazing collaboration between Magpie Fibers, Andrea Mowry, and Spin Cycle Yarns yep. for a fantastically cool sweater. And it has texture, color work. It's got all the good it's stuff. It's got cabling. It's got bobbles. It's got all of it. And we are going to be doing a knit along on. Do you like how I said that? Knit along. Yes. Knit along. Knit -al I like where you put the. I put, the, emphasis, I put that emphasis that. in a weird yeah. place. But um, on it's better. It's better than what I used to call them. Yeah, <laughs> cast along. I used to always call them cast along. Then I'd be like, oh what? And you were like, you know, you know the like, cast along, oh, knit along, knit along. Yeah. The cast on is just where you start. Yeah, it's not the whole thing. Well, maybe we can all just start doing cast alongs. Too. I feel like that's something far more attainable for some of us with time <laughs> yeah. management issues. Absolutely, cast along. Yes, we're gonna do the knit along though over on uh, Ravelry's oh, Magpie Fibers Ravelry page. So um, link will be here for you guys. Yes, absolutely, and uh, same place that we did it last year. Um, and it's, uh, we're starting, it's a soft start time, September 2nd. Yep. That way people have time to order their yarn, get swatch, their yarn, swatch, yep. you know, play with your colors, figure out what you're doing. See and so many awesome color combinations. So, oh my uh, goodness. So many awesome colors that you Magpies can do. Magpies come out with some really awesome colors, new ones to play with. And, I haven't yeah. picked my colors yet. Oh, I know. Well, you, you already did one well, for the test. So, I've already done one. So we'll talk we'll about that in a minute. Um, but I picked up my colors. I'm very excited about it. But the start, so the start date is Sept September 2nd. The end date is going to be November 2nd, which we know, again, it's after Rhinebeck. But we want to give people time to finish the sweaters in case they can't get it done um, by Rhinebeck, which is totally fine. And we want other people to be able to be in the drawing for the prizes, prizes. that we come up with. And the prizes, like last year, will be announced at the, the weekend of Rhinebeck. And that's another cool part. Yep. At Rhinebeck, we're going to be having a meetup. Meetup on the hill. Um, and you can bring your finished object if it's finished or your whip. Either way, we want to see what you're doing. Yes. yes. And it's not just going to be us because, I mean, you've got Andrew Mowry coming. Yes. You've got the Spin Cycle Girls. And you've got Davey from Magpie Fibers. We're all going to be there yes. to see your work, to see your finished objects, to yeah. see you. And it's, it's going to so be exciting. great. It's so much fun. Last year and was that's on Saturday. 
Saturday, October, October 19th. Yes. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. On the hill. Yep. So we are so excited about that. Again, we'll put all the information in the show notes so that you have all of that. And all the information is also um, up um, at the very beginning of the group it, on Ravelry. It's all the information is the very first post in the Ravelry group. Mm-hmm. It's also on our Instagram page. Yeah. And we're going to also be... Um, you're going to also be posting a lot of stuff on Instagram. That's exactly what That's I was going to say. say. But we got it. We got it. So, uh, and the hashtags that we're going to be using are uh, hashtag Stone Crop Knit Along. Mm-hmm. Actually, Stone Crop K A L. K A L. I'm sorry. Um, Stone Crop K A L. And um, also, definitely tag us with Salvage Knits. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also use, people are using the hashtag stone crop Cardi yep, stone or stone crop pullover, mm-hmm. um, depending on what you're making. Yeah. Also tag magpie fibers, yes. tag spin cycle, tag Andrea. So we can all see what you're doing. Cause we're all really, really, really excited. I cannot wait to see all the color combos. Well, oh my gosh. i my mind's kind of, I know I was so excited about it last year with the throwback. Mm-hmm. And I cannot wait to see the colors well, that people come up with because again, just the amount, even in the same colorways, using Spin Cycle, it, they're going to all look so different. I and they did. Yes. Well, last year at yes. um, Rhinebeck with my throwback, I had a sweater, and then mm-hmm. another woman had the exact same color combo, mm-hmm. but it looked different, and it was so it was cool. still different. Seeing, yeah. It's just seeing all the different ways that people use their Spin Cycle. And color combos that, like, in my head, I'm like, oh. But then you put it together, and you're like, oh, my gosh, it's it amazing. It looks so good. Yes, absolutely. Um, so please, join in. Have fun. Chat, help each other. That's the coolest thing I love about the Knit Along. Is, Me too. Uh, we're both on there, and we're trying to answer questions and help people. Uh, but the community that's there is yes. great, and everybody can help each other. You can give feedback. You can give your opinions. You can share the mistakes mm-hmm. you've made. You can share the problems that you've come up on or the successes that you've had, and that's the great, great thing about the Magpie Forum um, that yes. we're running it on is that it's a really great place to just keep talking about what we're doing together and just you know, and getting inspiration. Yes. And yeah. No, it's wonderful. I absolutely love the knit along. So I'm very excited about that. So, and do you want to show your colors first? Yeah, I can show. Uh, well, no, why don't you go ahead and show the sweater and then I'll talk about, I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen the sweater by now, but um, why don't you go ahead and talk about. Well, and I have to like, I was actually part of the test knit. So yes. this was finished. It was, but <laughs> she's a perfectionist. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, and I messed up on one of the sleeves, so one of my sleeves is currently back on the needles. You didn't mess it up. I didn't mess it up. I, but I, because I'm a little bit of a micromanager. Um, Which is fine. Again, you're the boss of your knitting. I am the boss of my knitting. I had to take it back to make some alterations, mm-hmm. but I ended up using um, Velvet Underground, which is a deep, deep, dark purple, and Spin Cycles Truth Bomb, which is this um, and depending on the skin you get, like I pulled out the super, super, super unicorn Micro rainbow yes. colors in there mm-hmm. to get sort of a roygy biv transition going on from top to bottom. Oh, they must be giants. I'm just sorry, I thought it was on. Okay. And so like my sleeve, and that was my thing, and that I want to warn you guys before you start. Re- if you're like me and you want to kind of micromanage your yarn... Mm-hmm. Maybe wind your yarn so that you have your body yarn set aside and you kind of know, you can look at the inside of the skein and be like, okay, it's going to transition from the green to the blue to the gray and you can mm-hmm. see it happening. Yeah. Um, but, you know, kind of pay attention on the body, how it's going to look and then how the, on the arms, how it's going to look. For me, what happened was I had that same kind of, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue thing going on. Mm-hmm. And then on the arm on the other side, you can't see because I pulled it out. I accidentally went backwards. I went purple, blue, green, etc. And and so and so on. (laughs) And it it just looked I didn't like that look. So I in retrospect, if I do it again, which I will be doing, I would set aside two skeins that are kind of similar and that where the color you can see the color kind of moving in the same directions for both sleeves so that you have that under control and so that your sleeves are kind of moving at the same pace. Because also a thing to think about is the color change on the body is going to be quicker than the color change on the sleeves because you have, you're going around much faster. Right. So you're going to have thicker bands of color, but because of this awesome, awesome pattern that Andrea has going on, you, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, the colors are there, but they're very spread out. So it kind of lends itself to a lot of color yeah. change. It still look, I mean, you can, you still somehow manage to match it up really well. Cause like I, and I did the same thing on my um, shifty. Mm-hmm. 
where the colors were different. Um, and when you look at both sleeves, when you put them together, they're very clearly different. But because of the amount of colors happening, when they're not together, you can't notice it as well. But um, and this is not uh, this is an approach if you really want to micromanage your colors. Right, exactly. I was going for a rainbow look. Oh, I know. But that's one of the beauties of spin cycle is you get a lot of really cool. And you can change. play with it. Mm -hmm. You can play with it, or you can be like, you know what? I'm done with this color. I don't want the next one. So you can just break it and start it. You know, start and a new color. Do your color work, which I think is absolutely awesome. Um, I think, th so this is a new bobble style than the bobble that she used. It, it, this is a different bobble. It's a different bobble. It's a crochet hook bobble. Mm -hmm. And for those of us like me who don't crochet, it was a little intimidating at first, but Nervous. it's a really, really nice bobble. It's yeah. a very perky, very happy bobble. Yeah. It's got, it, sometimes it's, bobbles like tend to like yeah, fall back not. into the work. And, uh, so th this would kind of, as you're working on them, they can fall back into the work, but as you're, but as you kind of. Tighten it up as you knit a couple more rounds. It kind of pops, pops out, some out. Okay, and does a really good job. That's good they're nice, know. really, really, um, they're really, really good bobbles. Okay, and again, uh, I think it was uh, Rachel at Spin Psycho. She had a great post on Instagram talking about the five stages yes, I of saw that. <laughs> these bobbles and uh, going through. You know, the hate. I don't want to make these bobbles. I'm not going to make these bobbles. These are the worst. And, and, and then by the end, you're in love with the bobbles. Yes. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's a very exciting. I'm excited to see your next color. Yes, so I, I have not picked my next colors to knit for the knit along. But I picked my colors. Can I'm you? very excited about it. So this is one of um, Magpie's new colorways called Careless Whisper. And then this is Spin Cycle's Leaf colorway. Is it light? Leaf. Leaf. I'm saying that right. Um, so, oh my gosh, this new pink, this Careless Whisper, I am in love with it. And I just think it goes really well. I think it's trying really to go together. with like some sort of like opposite color where, you know. I think contrast, contrast is important. Like trying to pick that complementary color, you know, in some way to make sure that you have enough. Contrast so for the blend. Because the color work is so small. Mm -hmm. You just don't want it to blend too much. So I think that's important. But I'm very excited. Although there, this. I mean, everyone, you do you. And I'm, yeah. we can't wait to see what you do. Um, there could be some really cool. Things with low contrast, but yes. to really, really see the definition, you're going to want to pick a higher contrast color. Yeah. But I kind of, there's a part of me that kind of wants to see somebody do like white on gray. Ooh. Maybe <laughs> you could do that. Maybe. Because your next one. Do, they'll do like a really crazy one? And yeah, I have a really gray. crazy one. Maybe I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. So, I'm sure he's still out. I'm not sure. I can't wait to see everybody. So we've already started looking um, at people's like happy, I love happy mail day posts. Like when people post opening their mail and they're so excited, those happy yarn packages. So we've been looking for those. I've been looking to see what other people's colors are. Um, and definitely tag us in those so that I can share them for inspiration. So we can share them for inspiration for other people joining this knit along. I think that's everything on the knit along for now. Go and we to will... Ravelry and join, please. And definitely follow us on Instagram. So And then tag us on it so we can share everything and do this all together as like a real knit along very excited can you tell okay so now we're going to move on to please, please take, take our, our money. money so we had the pleasure of running into christy jensen of birdie parker designs when we were at stitches west love her i know she came up to us in the booth and showed us this amazing jewelry that she makes i'm a little jewelry obsessed oh my gosh check out these earrings i love them those little knit stitches and i have the bracelet on yes same. So she came up to us and she was telling us all about her um, studio that she has in California. She's she's based out of California, hence we ran into her Stitches West. Uh, but she does um, metal etching, and so she uses um, the she makes knit stitches and there's pearl stitches. She has a whole other um, print that she does called Bramble. But she makes this really cool metal jewelry and then um, puts it together with some leather for these. Bracelets. She has shawl cuffs. Which are, and it's cool because I know we've talked about shawl cuffs before and you're wearing yeah. one of them as mm -hmm. well. It's bigger. Her shawl cuffs are actually more dainty and it's really a yes. good match for your lighter weight shawls. Yes. And it, it's just her, she has such a great variety mm -hmm. of very intuitive jewelry that's very much what you know, that fits Absolutely. a knitter's needs. I actually have here um, another earring. She has a bunch of different earrings and she's actually named each style of earring after a friend of hers, which I think is really, really cool. So. Um, depending on the style and what her what friend likes that style, she ends up actually naming that. But 
here, you can see that she has the little pearl bumps here, the little knit Vs and here. Here's the same earrings, but yeah. in a different color. So she has brass, silver, and copper. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the silver's on. Yep. And she's got different colors of leather. Yeah. She's got the gray leather, she's got the black leather. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really cute. It's really good stuff, really, really cute. She um, also has those, she's got these uh, yarn pendants that she actually hammers. Yes. Yes. On a, what is it? It was a button. It's an antique button. And she, she uses that as a mold for the... For the yarn balls. The yarn balls. And she's yes. got some really, really, really cute stuff. Speaking of which, and speaking of Rhinebeck, she is going to be showing at India Untangled this year. So you have to check her out. Yes, I was so excited when I saw that because she just has such cool stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're really, really excited about this stuff. I am wearing it literally all the time. I absolutely adore it. And she is so sweet and her photography is amazing. Definitely go follow her on um, Instagram. We'll put up her handle here. Um, I love her feed. It's so cool looking. Go check it out so yes. she can take your money too. Yes, because you're going to want to buy all the stuff once you see it. So, yeah. And last but not least, style your knits. Um, today I am styling a piece from my summer of Jessie Mae. So far this You've summer, gotten so much done. I've gotten so much done. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not going to be able to get through her whole catalog this summer. Well, because she keeps coming out She with keeps coming out with new patterns. So I've kind of picked and yeah. choose. I've done a Ripple Pearlette. Mm -hmm. I have done the Breeze Racer Back Tank. Yep. I am halfway through, more than halfway through, the Ripple Crop Top. Yes, 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 yes. Although yes. I think I'm going to cut the sleeves off because I really like it as a tank top. Uh -huh. But... Oh. More on that later. Oh. Um, and I got to be part of the test knit group for the yeah, Diaphanous Raglan. Oh my gosh, I remember when she first put up stuff about this. I was in love with it immediately. I was stoked as soon as I saw the first oh tease picture she put up. And I was like, I yes. have to be, yes. be in that test group. And yes. I was so glad that I um, was chosen to do it. And it was so, it's so good. It's really good. Um, I knit this up using... Farmer's Daughter Fibers, her uh, Foxy Lady, which is her silk yep. and merino blend, mm -hmm. yep. and then her mohair, the Mighty Mo, which we've talked about quite a bit. Just, and just a few times. Just a few times. Just and a few times. What I love about it is like the body itself <sighs> is a mix of the two, whereas the sleeve is just the mohair. Oh so you get this very romantic, dreamy. I love it sleeve. I cannot wait to make one. And I'm, I like that it has a double V front and back. I love a V back. I do too. It's so, I've got a tattoo on my back, I so like I like it to be able to peek out a little bit. Heck yes. Um, so yes, oh my this God. pattern has so many options to customize it to your body. And it's, it's really, really awesome because she has at least these three to four different sleeve types. You can do the long Bishop sleeve like this. You can do a short sleeve. And she has directions also to do a flutter sleeve as well as a ruffle sleeve. She was reposting somebody that did that flutter sleeve. Yes. She, oh, she uh, reposted everybody's pictures. Yeah, I do remember that. That one that was um, <laughs> kind of multicolored. There was another person who did, uh, mm. I think it was Kate Tangled String. Somebody. There's another another one of the testers. She did a scrappy version where it's all different colors. Ooh. And then the sleeves were one color, but then the body she did with all different scrappy colors. Oh, that's cool. And there's different... Like, I chose to do the waist shaping, which gives you kind of this tight, tapered shape down to a short, cropped waist. But there are options to omit the waist shaping and then just do it as... Oh, and really? Yeah. I didn't realize that. You can do I it. I love the line that it makes. Can it you show that? I do really love that line. It's got it's a really, really pretty... It's cool. I love that. It makes it look like it's such like a cool finishing like, it, it is. It. And I love the shape that it gives. But if that's not the shape you want, you can absolutely do a straight waist. That's really cool. I didn't know that. So that you could also make it very, very long too. I mean, you could do more length on the, this cropped shape. Yeah. But you could also just do a long kind of boxy I really, crop as well. I love the shape of this. Long, long boxy crop. I don't think it would be long if it was cropped, but you, you get what I'm saying. You yeah. can alter it to fit you the way you want. That's really cool. I love that. It's a really, cool, really cool pattern and I already have yarn to make more, but let's talk about how I styled it. <laughs> We're going to just gloss right over that. <laughs> I didn't buy more yarn. Nope. Um, I styled this with actually a high-waisted skirt. I'm kind of obsessed with skirts right now. I know you guys know I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal. But um, something weird's happening over here. She has so many really awesome ball and skirts right now. I'm really awesome. into skirts right now because it's like wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I 
Oh, I didn't realize. That's why. I didn't realize that wearing a skirt is just like kind of like sweatpants. Kind of wearing pajamas. It's like wearing pajamas that are big and open and billowy. So I've been into skirts hey. recently this summer. And I love these high waisted cool skirts. Stuff. Pairing them with a short cropped. I love it when it tank. meets it just right. Yes, and yeah. when they meet just right, you get this kind of nice um, silhouette that I. That, that makes me feel confident. Yeah. And I really like how these two pieces, I've got it paired with one of my new skirts. It's a black skirt from Sisters of the Black Moon. And it's paired with uh, the um, the raglan top and just a pair of clogs. And I can't really wear it right now because it's boiling hot, but I'm really looking forward so to wearing cute. this come fall because yeah. it's such a fun, comfy outfit and it has a really romantic look to it, even though I feel like I'm in pajamas. That's the best. Yes. That's the best when you feel confident and you're comfortable. Win win. That's a win right there. Um, so that's my style units this that's week. Awesome. I really love this. I can't wait to make it. I want to make one in all black. I wanted to make one in all black, but I didn't. And now I'm going to make one in neon green because hey. it's the same thing. Same neon green, black, same, <laughs> same thing. Um, okay. So my style units I'm excited about. So last. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so last episode, I talked about my knits of shame with my Netherton pullover and the natural versus the white mohair that made it two different colors. Um, so I took it into the girls at Magpie Fiber and they over dyed it for me and it's into this really beautiful burgundy shade. And I absolutely love it. It turned out beautifully. I'm really happy with it. So this is a really cool pattern. It's another nether tin pullover. It was um, a pom-pom magazine um, pattern. And again, I had made it for my sister who was going to be wearing a really high-waisted skirt for her wedding. So it is very cropped. I don't actually own anything that is a bottom that is that high. Like I need to get a skirt for it. But... I thought it would look really cute under a pair of overalls because then um, I'm not so comfortable showing off that much of my own belly. Um, but so I wanted something that kind of just gave like a little sneaky peek. So I put I paired mine with um, with some overalls that I have and um, a pair of cute open toed shoes. And I have my Grove bag on there because I take that thing literally everywhere with me. I absolutely love that. I think it just adds a little bit of like oomph to any outfit. But um, but yeah, so that's the- Very similar colors today. Did I know. And, well, and then I was also like thinking about the yarn that I'm going to be knitting. Oh, you're having- you're, you're, We went real pink on this episode. Pink and fluffy. Yeah, which is weird because we started out like black and gray. But yeah, then we still are we're, what we're actually wearing. But but we're branching out. We're branching out. Guns. New colors, yes. pinkishness for me. I know. Anti pink person. Okay, you're wearing pink and skirts. I know, right? I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> She's already leaving. She's out. <laughs> All right, so um, I think that's it for us. Uh, definitely go join the knit along. Please uh, tag us. Use the hashtag StoneCropKAL, um, tag Magpie Fibers, Spin Cycle, Andrea. They all want to see your stuff too. And oh, and if you have, if anybody if, has knit these tops, um, either of these tops, yes, share how you styled them with yes. us. Put put a picture on Instagram, tag us, so that we can share it with yeah. our viewers, so that we can all see how everybody's styling. Everybody's this stuff. styling because everybody has a different style. So um, yeah, that's it for us. I gotta go wind my yarn. Bye. The middle one. So we'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. All right. Last, Last but not least. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say the same thing. We are on today. We're on fire. And you didn't leave me. I didn't leave you hang out. I thought so I was close. gonna be out it here for a while. Close. It was gonna um, happen. You know what? She's just so smart. Um yeah, it's burgundy. <laughs> but, oh my god. We have to start over. I didn't say what the yarn was. We don't have to start over. I'm interrupting you now. We have to start over. I think so. I do. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're doing tiki glasses. Yeah, we are. Why wouldn't you be? Hello, and welcome to Salvage Knits Tiki Time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You start. You were starting, and I talked over. It's you. okay. Like a complete tool. <laughs> no, you're fine. I Shut up, Sam. Them. I'm talking into Christy Jensen of Birdie Parker Designs. That was really weird because I just showed my earrings. <laughs> You're just like, I didn't actually hey guys, anything. check out my earrings. I'm really excited about them. They're so cool. Talk I about then show. Okay. Because you're just like, 
We had the pleasure of running into somebody as I tugged on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything in life. I am so bad at it. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least. I did finger guns before too. Did you see that? No. We just left it to go. I hope. I was like, da 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 I like da. finger guns. Okay. Sharp. Why is this hard every single time? Because it's awkward for us to talk to people who aren't here. <laughs> Can you guys send us some pictures and so we can just tape them to the wall? <gasps> that would be us. fantastic. And then that way, it's we like know we're actually talking. Like, hi, Becky. Yeah. Hi, Tiffany. Yeah. Hi, Kayla. What's up? Hey, there hi. you. And then I would feel like I'm talking to somebody hey, on my phone. Hey, Jesse. Yeah. I like that you waved with the sweater. Bye. Bye. I really was like, woo! Woo!